Today I'm going to show you how to change the ECM on a 2009 Hyundai Elantra. This will work for a 2007 through 2010 Hyundai Elantra and I also believe the 2008 to 2012 Kia Forte. They're made on the same uh, platform. It's the HD platform. One thing I want to point out is this number right here. You want to make sure that matches the number on the car. So we're going to go ahead and get the hood open. I'm going to show you where this is and how to get it out. All right, we've got the hood open and you can see right here is the ECM and it is attached to this air box. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, loosen this clamp here, unplug the mass airflow sensor, pop these four tabs loose. We'll get the top of this off out of the way. And then there's a 10 millimeter bolt that goes down here and one right here. And then we can remove the lower air box, which this is actually attached to. But before we do that, we're going to start with unhooking the battery, or at least getting the negative off there. Uh, I just wanted to give you a brief overview before I start taking stuff apart so you know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. One thing I'm curious about is the mileage. Uh, right now we're at 154, 536. I've seen a video where the guy said after you change the ECM, you'd have to have the, the ECM reflashed to reflect the correct mileage. For me, I thought that a lot of that information was stored on the BCM, but anyway, once I get this switched out, I'll take a look and see if it changed our mileage up here. Just wanted to show you a potential concern that I have and uh, see what happens after we change it. Luckily, everything we're going to be touching is going to be a 10 millimeter, so I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Loosen this clamp up. You guys, I must long forget this battery here. <clears throat> All right, now that that is out of the way, we can get this 10 millimeter down here that I showed you a couple seconds ago. And then this one right back here. And then to disconnect these uh, these cables that go in here, it looks like there's, uh, if you pull those apart, they snap in. Uh, so pull them to the side. That releases this one. We'll get it out of the way. Back here we'll do the same. And now, uh, this whole assembly should come up out of here. To make this a little bit easier, I'm going to remove this tube. So I'm going to just take these two bolts out. This should move right out of the way. Now we'll turn back to the air box here. Here we go, we got this out of the way. So at this point I want to verify these numbers that we have here. This is the one on the car right now. And this is the, I'm looking at this number right here. 39152023. And we have 39150230023. So now we're just gonna remove these four 10 millimeter bolts holding this ECM to the air box.
get this new or new to me one in place here. Get the thread started. Okay, go ahead and tighten them down. All right, now we can just reassemble it. Reverse it how we took it apart. One thing I'll show you, this little nub here goes into this hole here. So that's the first thing we're gonna place is that right there. Put the bolts back in that hold this where it goes. So I think at this point we can actually go ahead and plug these plugs back in. that. I'll go ahead and put the air filter back in. Get the top of the air back, box back on. Tighten this clamp back. And then we will put this back on. So you can see this tube. This tube here goes right in there. All right, now let's hook the battery back up. Actually, I'm gonna clean it first. All right, first we're gonna clean off the post. Now we'll clean. It's gotta be better than it was. Okay, I'm going to clean my hands up a little bit. We're going to jump in the car and make sure that the mileage is correct. Alright, so as you can see here, we've got good news. Um, that ECM did not control the uh, the mileage, or doesn't, uh, doesn't monitor the mileage. So I'm just going to start it for just a second and make sure everything starts up like it should. Well, here in a little while, I'll get it out and I'll let it run for a little while, take it down the road and run through some drive cycles and make sure that there's no check engine lights. The reason I changed this ECM is there were uh, uh, several strange um, oxygen sensor codes. So they didn't make any sense. I did some manual testing with a voltmeter at, at the, with a digital multimeter at the actual, um, oxygen sensors and they seem to be fine and due to the strange strangeness of the 
the codes and the number of codes, I thought maybe we'd have an ECM issue, and uh, we'll we'll be looking into that into that and seeing if that is actually the ECM. But anyway, I want to say thank you uh, for watching. If this was helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or just put a comment below. Let me know uh, if it was helpful or not. But thanks for watching. I will be posting several videos on this car, so I'll put a playlist in the description uh, as well as at the end of this video that you can click on uh, the playlist and check it out. Thanks again.